Hello and welcome to Teacher's Notes. In this video, we're going to have five tips to boost your writing score so you can ace your next writing assessment. So, the first thing to be to understand is that teachers, when they're marking tests, they use a rubric. If you have access to the rubric before you take a writing test, you should read it because you'll see exactly what the teachers are going to be looking for and what you're going to get good grades for. Okay? Teachers won't always share the rubric with you, um, but I can tell you, as a teacher who's been marking tests for many, many years, three things are always present on a writing assessment rubric. Okay? And they are content, language, and structure. So these are the things that this uh, teacher will be looking for when they're checking your essay or your writing assignment, whatever the writing assignment is. Content, students usually do pretty well at writing interesting content. Okay, so that's not really an area I'm going to focus on this video. What I'm going to focus on this video is the language and the structure that will help you get a great grade in your test. Okay, and here are five tips. First one, add adverbs. Okay, adverbs make your writing much more interesting. They show that you have a higher level of English language understanding. You have better uh, writing skills. Okay, and they're very easy to use. So we can use adverbs at the beginning of a sentence, suddenly, fortunately, eventually. Okay, or when you have a, a verb, you use um, an adverb just to give it more detail. Okay, if you add these, the teacher will see that you have a, a better understanding of the English language and you'll get extra marks simply by using a few adverbs. Okay, don't forget, very important, adverbs, add adverbs. Number two, clever conjunctions. Clever conjunctions also show that you have a good understanding of the structure of English language and you can construct complex and interesting sentences. Okay, so obviously you don't need to use all of these conjunctions in a writing assignment, but you should use some of them. Although, since, therefore, as, when or while, meanwhile, however, okay, use these conjunctions and your writing will be more interesting and your teacher will see, yes, this student has a good level of language ability and they'll get a better score, definitely. Clever conjunctions. Next one, exciting adjectives, okay, as mentioned in the previous two points. When a teacher is checking a work, they're looking to see how good their writing is. So you need to like showcase what you can really do. Okay? So you should not be using everyday adjectives. Okay? You should be looking for exciting adjectives. So use synonyms. Synonyms. <laughs> Sorry. Use synonyms. Okay? So I don't want to hear big and small, good and bad. I want to hear huge, minute, uh, wonderful, dreadful. Okay? Ecstatic distraught, all right? So what you should do is you should prepare an arsenal of exciting adjectives, okay? You don't need to learn all the hundred synonyms of good, okay? Just find a few that you like, okay? Find a few synonyms of these keywords, and maybe a few other words, and have them ready. So when you're writing assignment, instead of saying, she was sad, you say, she was, you know, uh, she was depressed, okay? Instead of saying she was happy, uh, she was ecstatic. Okay? Have those ready and use them. You don't need to use all of them, you just need to have a few ready. And again, when you use them, the teacher will see, yes, this student has a wide vocabulary. That's what you want to show. If the teacher thinks you have a wide vocabulary, they'll give you more scores. So, exciting adjectives. Exciting adjectives. None of these everyday adjectives. Exciting adjectives. Number four, direct speech. So, when you're writing a story, okay, include some direct speech. It makes the story more interesting. You give the characters um, their own voice, but also you're showing the um, teacher who's marking your work that you're able to write direct speech correctly in your story. Okay, you're able to use the punctuation correctly. You'll get marks for that. And also, you, instead of saying, Peter said, Peter said, you can say, Peter exclaimed, Peter suggested, Peter argued, Peter advised, Peter screamed. Okay, and again, we're making the writing more interesting. We're showing that we have 
um, uh, understanding of more vocabulary, and also we're showing that we understand how punctuation works. If a teacher sees some direct speech in your story, it will make the story more interesting, and also you get points for being able to use um, punctuation correctly. Okay? Speech. And finally, structure. There are always, always points for structure. And the simple mistakes which many students make, and it's very easy to rectify, is that they make sentences which are too long. Okay, often paragraphs which are too long, and paragraphs which are not clearly defined. Okay, so with your structure, make your sentences short, okay, and make your paragraphs clear. In doing that, the teacher will see, yes, you understand how to structure a sentence, a paragraph, and a writing assignment. Okay? If you don't have any paragraphs, you're going to lose a lot of points. Okay? And if your sentences go on and on with and and but and so, okay, the teacher is not going to uh, give you a good score either. Okay? So short sentences, clear paragraphs, good structure. So fifth S, structure. So as I said, five tips to boost your scores, and this will help you ace. <laughs> This will help you ace the test, okay? And that's an easy way to remember it, then. Aces, right, okay? So A, adverbs. C, conjunctions. E, exciting adjectives. S, speech. And the final S, structure. Okay? When you do a writing assignment, check you have these. If you haven't got these, add them to it. Let's take some time and add them to it, okay? Like I said, when you're doing a writing assignment, if you're showcasing what you can do. If you showcase, you can use adjectives, um, clever conjunctions, exciting adjectives, direct speech, and you have good structure. You're going to get a great score. You're going to ace that test, and you're going to get a great, great score. Okay? I hope you have found this video useful. If you have, please do click like. Please use this when you have your next writing assignment, and you'll see how wonderful it is. Um, please click like and please remember to follow our YouTube channel for lots more tips on getting successful with your English language learning. Thank you for watching.